Welcome to my forecast video about Mercury retrograde. That poor guy has a really bad image and a lot of people are complaining when it's happening. And it is helpful to know especially where it's happening in your chart and in which sign it's happening. So I invite you to hang in there to the end of the video because then I will give you access to your personal free birth chart. So then everything I'm going to present in my PowerPoint presentation later, you can really get very specific how it might impact you in your life. And that it is what it is all about in uh, using astrology forecasts. So I hope you will enjoy. Welcome to my Mercury Retrograde presentation 2016. So uh, I will talk about all four Mercury retrogrades and what to expect and how to align with the celestial energies. Mercury turns retrograde more frequently than any other planet in our solar system. And even people who haven't heard much about uh, astrology have often heard about Mercury retrograde and what a troublemaker he is. So Lord Mercury gets a really bad reputation because he tends to bring much chaos and confusion, confusion into our lives. So things just don't go as smoothly as we like. And uh, this video is intended to help you to deal with uh, those particularities of the signs where Mercury is happening in and how to make the best out of it. Another particularity about Mercury is Mercury can never be more than 28 degrees from the Sun. And whenever it reaches its furthest distance possible from the Sun, it seems to change direction or what we called it goes retrograde. And because Mercury is a planet that rules communication and interactions and information, Mercury retrogrades tends to bring these uh, wrenches into the gears and, and create uh, obstacles. We know about Mercury that he is the archetype. He was looked at the official messenger of the ancient gods and goddesses and as such governed communications. In your chart, Mercury symbolizes your perceptions, your mind, your intellect, and how that is wired. And with that, your ability to learn, your ability to communicate, to find your voice. So Mercury has a lot to do with our mental, uh, intellectual uh, flexibility and openness to take in new information, to learn. Usually Mercury retrograde happen when uh, the planet Mercury comes between the Sun and the Earth and it happens three to four times uh, a year and this year we're going to have four Mercury retrogrades. So one of the uh, ideas why the Mercury retrograde is so impactful for each of us is the plausible theory that it's a concentration of iron uh, which is uh, a big part of the planet, has a magnetic influence on the behavior of us human beings. And that's why some strange things appear to happen during the retrograde period. And I kind of like this idea, this perspective. So the most interesting thing here is that uh, the Mercury retrogrades uh, four times mainly in the earth signs of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and then Capricorn again. So this means that we are revisiting, retrograding into uh, former degrees of those signs in order to deepen, in order to have a second chance and, and take it a step deeper, which kind of correlates uh, quite nicely with the energies of the earth signs. So what happens when a planet turns retrograde? It just goes back to degrees in the sign it has already visited. And with that, there is really this chance of revisitation and deepening of the theme represented by the sign. 
So when we go through all, through each one of them, I will give you my top three Mercury retrograde survival tips for each period. So I, uh, I'm sure you will enjoy those. So here are all the four dates for you, and uh, it's probably good to have it handy somewhere. We are uh, right now in the middle of the first one, so uh, Mercury will turn direct again on January 26th at 15 degrees Capricorn. And all the others are kind of spread out through the years, so I won't read it to you, you can just look it up and I will send you a reminder anyway. <laughs> a little bit about me. My name is Shakti Karola Nevran and uh, I'm very passionate about astrology. So I want everybody to have their own birth chart and uh, throw a love stone report on top of it when you sign up on my website. And I truly believe that you are born to thrive. So uh, as an astrologer for almost 40 years now, uh, I really, really, truly love astrology and know what it can do for you. And it is your astrological blueprint. And uh, with that, it's your road to karmic healing and true transformation and really um, take the high road of all the potentials you're bringing with you as a soul to this lifetime. So as an astrologer, I'm deeply committed to help you to understand yourself and uh, integrate all these uh, forecast readings I'm doing from that point. So because we are in the middle of the first of the four Mercury retrogrades right now, uh, I will give you three tips how to navigate these celestial energies and how to use them to your best advantage. So even if most of this retrograde uh, is happening in Capricorn, it starts out one degree in Aquarius. So it starts with that seeding, seeding moment of looking at new developments in your life which want to uh, uh, become more conscious. So uh, I'd like you to review which area of your life really needs a new vision or a change. So Aquarius and the start of this retrograde is an Aquarius is about breakthrough and revolution. So uh, then with that thought starting out, then Capricorn, the organizer, the, the builder, uh, can take charge. So then you want to take a look at projects you have already started. So sometimes we uh, feel sluggish and we can't move on to uh, uh, new pastures uh, because we have too many unfinished business uh, laying around projects we have started but never gotten to a proper uh, ending with. So, so this is a wonderful time right now to, to deal with projects, clean up things. And that can be projects you have on your computer, uh, any kind of projects. And it can also be very concrete uh, physically in your house. So that's my third point, uh, the invitation to declutter your space. Go through your closets, have a look at your garage, all these old boxes. Uh, so, so this is the time of the year to do that. As you might know, I'm very passionate about gemstones. And all my life uh, as a jeweler, I have been working with the healing metaphysical aspects of gemstones. And I've created what I call the gemstone profile, where you can really uh, find out which is your main birthstone for each planet in your chart. So here today I will give you just an overview for one of the stones you can use as an anchor for Capricorn and that is the crystal quartz. So the crystal quartz is very closely connected and symbolizes our own inner search for light and love, our longing to awaken to a higher state of consciousness. 
and uh, crystal quartz can be uh, used as a guide on that quest. So as you can see here in the picture, uh, as that manifestation of light and clarity and concentration in the physical realm, uh, crystal quartz manifests that perfect crystallization and is therefore a metaphor for our own search for that perfection. And here you can see in the picture how the single crystal will grow from the bottom, from the cloudy kind of not being able to see through quality into the more clearly developed and defined tip. So here that's the process of becoming more and more clear and awake. So the crystal quartz can can have you can help you with all that and it's also a wonderful gemstone to to lay on your third eye for meditation i believe that ultimately mercury retrogrades are about how we process the world around us and through our senses our perceptions and uh, our insights so what conclusion we draw from our experiences and these will be very uh, individual and uh, just becoming more aware of how we create our own realities through our own perceptions and then how our beliefs come out of that and from that place then we make certain choices and therefore create our future from that set point. So, as always, uh, awareness is the key. So, besides knowing in which sign the Mercury retrograde is happening and uh, applying yourself consciously accordingly to the sign, there are different ways I want to point at uh, to set a powerful anchor for high-end intentions you hold in those specific times. So one way I already presented is through gemstones. So gemstones do have their own frequency. So for example, if you know about uh, uh, muscle testing, uh, you know that even if you bring a small gemstone into your energy field, it can collapse your energy or can strengthen your energy. So gemstones do impact you and the energy of your body. But then you can also use gemstones on top of that as an anchor, as we uh, used to look at it in neurolinguistic programming. So an anchor is just used to reconnect with a certain state of consciousness or emotion. So therefore gemstones can be very powerful in using them in a very uh, conscious way. So that's why I've created the gemstone profile where you then know which is which stone for which inner aspect of your, your being and your personality. So gemstones are very powerful and they're beautiful, so I just love them. But of course there are other ways. So you could use images or make your own personal collages so you can create visual reminders for you to, to remind you and to hold focus. And then there's a whole field of incantations and affirmations. And uh, in my work with my clients, I often uh, uh, realize that uh, uh, they're not proper properly used affirmations. So affirmations needs to be used in a way that you allow for the opposite of what you want to hold as an affirmation to come up. So I always suggest to sit down with a journal and uh, if your affirmation is, uh, I am a truly loving being. Let's say that's the affirmation you want to work with. So you write it down on one side of your page and then you wait for what comes up in your consciousness which doesn't agree. So you might say, okay, well, I wasn't quite nice to my husband or my boyfriend this morning. So you write that down on the left-hand side. And then you write the affirmation again on the right-hand side. I am a truly loving being. Then you wait 
what is else is in the way. So this way you go back and forth between your your intention, your affirmation you want to support, and you will dislodge what's there in your unconsciousness and which is in the way. So you do that till you come to the place where there is nothing else coming up, which is against your affirmation, and then you work with it. Then it's going to be really powerful. I have tried really hard to make this video shorter than my usual ones, but obviously it's hard for me because I really want you to have all the information. And uh, I hope you, you enjoy it. So I will give you the other make your retrogrades down the road a little ahead of time, I hope. So now is a good time for you, if you haven't done so, to sign up on YouTube for your subscription. If you want to be kept informed about the coming up forecasts and if you want to get your free love stone report and your free horoscope your chart then you will want to sign up for my free newsletter on my website mauriastrologyreading.com so uh, anyway i hope you have enjoyed my presentation for today as an evolutionary astrologer with 37 years of experience, I'm very passionate about astrology, you might be able to tell. And I truly believe that you are born to thrive and that your astrological blueprint is there to help you with your karmic healing and a profound transformation. And it's all happening in our consciousness. So if you're interested to have a look at your personal chart with me, give me a call, I'm in Hawaii. 808-878-8182 or head over to my website and connect with me there mauiastrologyreading.com thanks for coming and listening i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like me and uh, i hope to see you soon again and as we say here on maui aloha